distinguished participants of the conference, speakers, dear colleagues from the Academy for Cultural Diplomacy, dear students, dear guests, all of you who are following us online. Uh, on behalf of Union University Law School Belgrade, it is my honor and privilege to welcome you to the conference Cultural Diplomacy in COVID Environment, jointly organized by the Academy for Cultural Diplomacy and Union University Law School Belgrade. Uh, let me first extend my gratitude and thanks to our partner, the Academy for Cultural Diplomacy, and especially Mr. Mark Dumfries who have made it possible for this conference to become a reality. Uh, the conference aims to raise awareness about cultural diplomacy in the time of COVID-19, not only concerning challenges it faces, but also the activities that could shift cultural relations moving from self-promotion to promotion of values. The mentioned aims of the conference perfectly fit in our law school mission. Union University Law School Belgrade is the place for people who like ideas, because ideas make a difference in the world, who want to think about the law's interaction with public policy, business, diplomacy, information, and biomedical technologies, human rights, and perception who are fascinated by the power of the rule of law and mindful of the unintended consequences of policy reforms, and who pursue the legal profession service to Serbian society. Since we have a lot of foreign uh, students and guests who are following us today online, let me say a few words about our law school. The law school was established back in 2001. It does not have a long tradition in time, as you can see. However, our great tradition is our commitment to critical analysis of law, legal institutions, and legal education itself. Curricular innovation on which we are regularly working revise rich tradition to keep pace with rapidly involving legal, economical, technical, technological, and social developments. Modern disciplines that we offer here, such as medical law, media law, EU law, environmental law, IT law, consumer protection law, as well as the new Master in Contemporary Legal Studies one-year program taught in English language completely, illustrate the point well. The distinctive contribution in teaching is given by prominent faculty members who have worked or studied at prestigious universities abroad. Our library has over 50,000 books. Our computer lab is equipped to allow a modern method of teaching. We also have an excellent bookstore where one can find not only our editions and legal literature authored by the Serbian scholars, but also law editions of world prominent publishers. Finally, our law school publishes regularly its law review, which is indexed in the world-recognized high online and very book journal indexing basis. The, lo the law review accepts the submissions not only in the Serbian language, but also in English language. Now, let me say a few words about the topic of the conference. The idea that a culture has an important role in diplomatic relations is not new, but the concept of cultural di diplomacy is quite new in this domain. The concept uh, is usually associated with other concepts such as public diplomacy, digital diplomacy, nation branding, propaganda, and social power. However, it differs from these concepts as the cultural uh, diplomacy represents the type of diplomacy aimed in exchanging ideas, information, art, language, and other aspects of uh, culture among nations. In a view on one distinguished scholar who lived with cultural diplomacy, cultural diplomacy is not about artists from one country going to perform in another country, but it is about artists who, uh, from two countries, collaborating to benefit for both sides. Moreover, all 
also bilateral relations lay in the heart of cultural diplomacy. The aims of cultural diplomacy are achieved, are achieved through multilateralism as well. One of the advantages of cultural diplomacy is to hold objectives such as exchange in medicine. Uh, some countries added or promoted health diplomacy to continue cultural diplomacy in the pandemic times. The crisis made us realize that medical system alone cannot help control pandemic, but more is needed to overcome the current crisis. The scholars who deal with cultural diplomacy have emphasized that in such time, culture help us focus on international challenges. On the other side, in COVID-19 time, cultural diplomacy faces different challenges mm -hmm. itself, conspiracy theories and misinformation being the most frequent. Our distinguished speakers will speak about those and some other issues today. I look forward to fruitful and constructive discussions. Thank you for your attention and I wish you a very successful day. Now, my colleague, the Vice Dean for Teaching Affairs, Jelena Simic, will introduce uh, the topic uh, more deeply.